Yo, what's up guys, AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Um, I got an... I got the Steam ready again. Um, but right now, uh, only lost one game this season. Uh, kind of unfortunate loss, to be honest, but uh, it is what it is uh, these days. Um, I'm playing a bit more Pokemon Shodan than Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, to be honest. But I haven't forgotten about you. You got, you guys all got me here, so uh, from time to time we will upload book MMO. Uh, definitely, at least two two times a week. And yeah, also doing it for the patrons, of course. Uh, because uh, they expect a team every every week, <laughs> every two weeks, every week. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to hold up. And yeah. Um, you guys know you guys know this team played it in two recordings so uh hopefully you can uh sit back and relax but yeah guys uh, before we go into our battle uh make sure to subscribe as i would like to hit 4000 subscribers uh, within uh before actually before uh march so uh, before the end of February is when I'd like to hit to uh, 4,000 subscribers. Would be really nice, and I think we can get 5,000 subscribers before the end of 2023, which would be awesome. 6,000 would even be better. Might be able to do it. Um, yeah, we've talked quite a bit through the intro. Intro. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you aren't interested in Steam, like always, the team is going to be on Patreon with a team building video if you are interested. But yeah, there's no need to skip anything here. Uh, we can just go over into the first battle. It's going to take a while to load, though. Okay, so this lad has an Umbrian. Which is actually really tough for me to break. I do have close combat on Cordanto. Um, I do have Toxic on Hippo, but he has... Uh, this is where Sludge Bomb would have been really nice. Because I don't think I... I don't really kill that Umbrian. Um, like, I need Stell Rock early. Really early. Ooh, let's lead up with the Rotom. Can I rock? Can I rock? Yeah, he leads up with Magnezar. Um... Well played, look. Look, okay. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna click Hydro Pump on this turn. Best thing he can do is Thunderbolt me. Which I take decently well. I connect the Hydro, of course. Like a boss, like a boss. And I'm clicking Volt Switch on this turn because he's gonna die to the next Hydro. And I don't think you wanna bring in the Garchomp there. So get in this guy. And go into hip power and get up rocks and try to keep this. Would have been cool if I had a roar because then I could prevent his wish protect. But I prevent his leftovers recovery here. And we're just going to go for stealth rock. I don't know if he has toxic on this. Um, he has, but it's because wish protect foul play toxic. Does he not have heal bell? Maybe he doesn't have foul play. So we just have to find out later on. Um, I am going for the Toxic myself here, though, because there might be a possibility that he's not carrying Heal Bound, otherwise he doesn't have any attacks, which could be hilarious as well, but um, I don't think he's going to bring in Magnezone or Excadrill on me. And we do see the Wish come out, so I Toxic this guy, and I can even go for an Earthquake, to be honest there. I really want, if I really wanted to. Basically finding out if because I don't want to switch in something randomly to uh, actually let me go among us because I feel like he's going to stay in it is foul play so he might not have Yuba on this which can be really beneficial to me having him poisoned unless he's not running protect on this uh, but then I can play around it even better Giga here. And then I'm gonna click Spore on the next turn because I don't think he has um I don't think he has heal bell. He would have clicked it there. Uh 
But uh, if he has healed ball, then the spore play is still going to work for me. So I'm just going to click spore here. If he goes into anything else, it will be put asleep. And he decided for it to be Magnezone, which works out for me, I guess. So good to know that Umbrian doesn't have heal ball. And close combat looking quite good now. Um, I'd have to say. And since he has a guaranteed sleep turn, I'm actually going to bring in the Hydreigon on this turn. Because offensively, it can be nice against uh, Hippowden. And honestly, though, should I just consider clicking Dragon Pulse here? The best thing he can click on me is Flash Cannon. But Dragon Pulse damages this. And he might fear Flamethrower coming his way. Because it's a common move. On the High Dragon, so he does end up switching into Hippowden. I don't think this is going to be a 2-hit KO, though. Hippowden is quite tanky. Ooh, 46. 46.9. And he is at 46.9, so I'm, I'm clicking it again, though. The Stealth Rock made the difference there, so Hippowden is gone. Didn't expect that to do that much, but... Uh, Glad to see it, glad to see it. Um, okay, so he comes in. I do have Rotom and Hippowden. Um, definitely need to switch here. Let's see. I don't want to keep Rotom for the, and the lure, but I do have this guy. Definitely want to switch here. I have Aqua Jet, worst case scenario. Who is better in this game? Seeing that he doesn't have an Earthquake switch aside from Umbrian. But Hippowden is still a ground type immunity. So that Magnuson won't be able to Volt switch around against me. But it's, it's, it's kind of a tough choice. Do I go Amoongus here? Actually, I, I don't think Amoongus provides much this game. He's life warped as well. Gonna Giga Drain there. Don't have any anything to lose as he clicks Earthquake. Doing a, a lot of damage on me there, but I get up my Giga. Like I said, I don't think this Pokemon provides much. Okay, he Swords Dances. Is he, uh, is he crazy? Because... Giga Drain is going to kill him, so... Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it, bro. Answerm is gone, assuming Chandelier comes in. I actually go zone. Um, interesting. Interesting indeed. Um... Let me go this. Get some HP back. And he gets the first turn awake. Which doesn't surprise me, of course. <laughs> they always do. They always do. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate, though. Our jump ends up coming in. And pain split later. This is a... can just go among us. He has to be physical to knock me out. And I do have Weavall in the back and I have Scarf High Dragon in case I get unlucky with the hits. So he just decides to go this, but that's fine. Um, we just... He gets Rain and he's... Fire Fang, okay? I might lift this. I don't want to Spore into him because uh, he can... Otherwise... He can substitute for free, basically. I spore into him. I could have gone Hydreigon there on the on the earthquake, but <laughs> that would have been an hilarious play. Okay, do I reveal the choice scarf on this? Yeah, 
Yeah, let me go. Let me go Dragon there. And just Bills. Uh, yeah, Dra I'm, I'm in mean Dragon Bills. <laughs> Not Dark Bills. And now... He is gone, so all his physical threats are gone. Still have Hippowdon and quite healthy here. Umbrin ends up coming in. Um, it's gonna Bills there. Because I can switch on his wish. But yeah, he cannot get rid of my stealth rocks. So I'm just gonna go Hippowdon now. Ideally, he clicks Toxic here. It doesn't matter if he clicked Protect or Toxic. It would have come down to the same thing. <laughs> but I hit clicking Toxic. I assert dominance by making the correct play, which is more important. It's pretty weak to Earthquake as well, but I'm still going to click that Stall Rock. Because if he switches this out, like I just need to kill this and then I kind of win with spamming Crunch. He's, he's going for the Wish, but I'm just going to Earthquake now. Like, even if you switch out there, I'm not going to do anything for you. Meanwhile, the poison is wrecking up, so... Just for foul play. It didn't do too much to me. And that's definitely a spin death, Umbrian, so... And I can even go for the slack of myself. And I can't make that play. Well, I'm just gonna go straight into Cradant. This Magnezon comes in. Okay. Because basically anything on my team kills Umrin at this point. As with rocks up and poison, of course. So what I can do is just go hip out in there. If he clicks flash cannon, I get in Rotom and uh, I can just get get wall switch damage up for free, basically. I could even go for hydro, but if I miss, that would be a bit annoying. Actually, I know, I know he's choice. I know he's choice. So going Rotom now. I can still hydro. Like, Umbrian is gonna die to this. Combined with the poison, of course. Uh, Umbrian is gone, and Aqua Jet looks pretty decent against his team now. So all I need now is damage on this, uh, on this guy, so I just go for... Um, Oh, I'll just go for Pain Split there. Because regardless of what he does here, I get HP back. So this is guaranteed damage. And he chooses to go for Thunderbolt. Since I'm slower than Chandelure, I'm most likely going to die to something like Energy Ball. Um, I might just Volt there. Gonna Volt, then go Hydrake and U-turn, sec this. This is I don't if I miss Hydro Pump, I don't get anything, and at least now I get a bit of chip. A bit of chip, a bit of chip. Actually, I'm I'm just gonna Dragon Pulse is str stronger, right? Yeah, Dragon Pulse is stronger. But I'm gonna U-turn first. Because Rodom is, is dead anyway. Because maybe that extra chip is going to put him in range of my Dragon Pulse. But he should die to Aqua Jet as well. <laughs> he should die to Aqua Jet. But I just Dark Pulse here anyway. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna cock at this point.
bit of a longer game, but uh, at this point it's over. Like, I played so much Pokemon Scarlet and Violet PvP that I keep thinking they might rest the lies. It's so crazy when I'm in these winning situations. I'm thinking, okay, they still haven't the rest slash yet. <laughs> still doing it in this game as well. Um, but yeah, uh, we win that game. Really fortunate that it was wasn't toxic. Uh, toxic that it was toxic and no heal bell on the because if he he hasn't he hasn't shown protect yet, but. Um, he would have used heal bell against me. What the fuck is this team, man? Yeah. Kinda hate seeing Venomoth. I'm not gonna lie. Dragon Knight, Eradicate, High Dragon Gang. Okay, 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 okay. There's no ground type on this team, so. I'm gonna lead up with my girlfriend there. Try. Oh, Dragon Knight. Let's see. Okay, that means I can get up. Um... It does mean that I can, off... can get. Uh... That I can get off a of Stealth Rock uh, turn one. And that Stealth Rock is gonna do a lot of damage to the Venomoth, be him being a bug type. Should I be dealing with the threat at hand? Nah, I'm just gonna Stealth Rock anyway. Plus one is not gonna be enough unless he's Life Warp. Well, even with the life orb, it, was, it wasn't enough. So I do get up my rocks, which is amazing because I don't see a debugger or something. Maybe I dragon is the debugger, who knows? Uh, but I get off my slack off there. <clears throat> That's crazy, man. In comes the Feraligator. I still have Amoongus. Uh, but I don't want him setting up that for free. Um, do I die to Waterfall, though? I mean, let, let's just go among us because he cannot freeze me if he has sheer force on this. I can easily click Spore, but I don't know these kind of people. So if if he's if he carries uh, some random Lumberry, then that would just be annoying. I shouldn't die to this because it's not stabbed. So I just Giga Drain there because then I put him in Aqua Jet range anyway. I'm gonna die to Sandstorm too. Oh wait, Sandstorm is gonna end this turn. You lucky bastard. How much HP am I at? 58. Big eye again. I'm gonna die to my Rocky Helmet anyway. This is what I needed him for. So. It's all cool. It's all cool. He's still alive as well. Oh, that's. Right, you get lightning rod. Spore him. He, he quiver danced straight away as well. Okay. Now let's see if he gets a first turn wake. I'm gonna go straight into Hydreigon if he quiver dances again. I don't know if he runs a bug buzz on this set. If he knocks me out with bug buzz though, I get him weave on next turn. And he doesn't have an ice type uh, switch on his team, so I can just go Hydreigon and go for that flamethrower. I don't know if he's gonna live it though. Maybe he's still, maybe st he still has a sleep turn. He doesn't live, so amazing. Should have just killed my Amoongus when he had the chance. His our dragon ends up coming in now, and let's see. Ooh, I go Rotom. I do have Cell Weevil in the back. Go Rotom. Kind of annoying that he has both a dragon and Gengar.
backing Among Us there. I want to keep the HP. Like he should be dragon pulsing me. I don't see leftovers on him, so he can be a bomb berry. I'm gonna go into my Weevil there. Worst case scenario, I do have a Scarf High Dragon in the back. If I somehow get two hits and that what and that's not enough. He decides to stay in. One, two. Two hits were enough. <laughs> you never know. You never know, bro. It's life of Dragonite as well. Nice to go Gengar. Um, now I'm gonna go into my... To my Rotom. I don't know if he's Choice Scarfed. We'll find out there. Hidden Power Fighting? That HP fighting. My man. My man. <laughs> I'm gonna hydro up him in case that Raichu is lightning rod. Oh. Okay, he didn't. Uh... Interesting. So my my man playing with fire, huh? Oh my god. What are you doing, step bro? What are you doing, step bro? I go into Hydreigon now. Pretty comfortably. So what is he gonna bring in? Kairu. He's gonna die to Dragon Pulse, of course. Just for extreme speed, but there's no way that's going to kill me even with a crit. Goodbye. And lastly, as Raichu, I'm just gonna hit him with Dragon Pulse and whatever he does. I have Aqua Jet in the back, I have Ice Shard in the back in case he's, he's agility or something. You never know. But he decides to forfeit, and I think we just made it to... Oh no, we're at 50. We're a strainer, boys. Let's go. I'm gonna play another one. So uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. See what we'll face this time. Ooh, well, I, I like the beard with the hat. It's matching. Oh no, another another Remrian. This one should have heal bell. He's he's playing it with Hippowden and with um uh, Hippowden and Jellicent. It also has Dragon Knight, but it should have heal bell. Unless it's it's a defensive Dragon Knight with heal bell and he's carrying toxic, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I am going to lead up with Rodham. This is gonna it's probably gonna be a tough game. Probably going to be a tough game. But uh it's all good. Getting my girlfriend there. He's probably gonna stay in on me as well. So uh, I'm just gonna vault there. He's faster than me. Hold up. Hold up. Why? Why are you so fast, bro? Why are you so fast? I get a crit on him. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. The gods have blessed me with this opportunity. Play more, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Play more trick? Get out of here, man. What the heck? <laughs> Play more, my man. Okay, we're going into Amoongus there. Was it, was it Play more trick, Will O Wisp? That's such a strange set. Uh, show me the acrobatics. If you don't have it, you can cry in the corner. Damn. Why does he have acrobatics, bro? Left over. That, that crit mattered. Hold up, that crit mattered. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me, man? It was leftovers acrobatics, so he had an item. Okay, whatever. I need to force this guy out. I'm just gonna go this and click flamethrower. 
I don't know if he wants to bullet punch me. He should be going High Dragon, but uh, uh, he should be going Umbreon. But uh, if I knock, if I can knock this boy out, then I'll take it. So there was no acro there, there was no flying gem, so he should have died. Uh, I should have lived that attack. Such an unfortunate event there. So, if this is actually a uh, heal bell roost, I think I lose. Oh, he extreme speed it right away. I did a lot, so I think that's choice, but. Oh, that's life warp. Um, is he gonna drop a Draco on me? Is he going to drop a Draco on me? The answer is probably yes. Oh, yeah, Ice Beam. What? Okay. I, he has he has opened my eyes with these crazy sets. Leftover. Oh, God. no. Well, I only need Hippowden for this. If I don't get up rocks. It's fine. Oh, it was Draco. Well, it's gonna die to the next turn on the next turn on, due to life warp, so I'm just gonna try to stall Brock here. He can Drake on me. I'm probably gonna die, but if I trade here, it's okay. Like, I don't necessarily need rocks versus these three. Crap Hammer looking kinda decent too. Oh, hold up. He didn't die. Um, so he's, he has an extreme speed left. Do I need it on? I'm gonna do it on Brodom. Um, I'm gonna do like 40, hopefully. I already s dropped a special attack. Goes into Hydreigon. Um, dead? Would be okay. Why am I faster? What? What the heck? Oh no! This does mean that my Cradant is faster as well. I actually don't need Hydreigon. Fuck! Are you actually kidding me? You're stuck in the vortex. I'm gonna die to. F <laughs> what? Are you actually kidding me, man? There's no fucking way. Well, you hate to see it then. <laughs> what am I seeing, guys? Fucking hell. Rocky Helmet Hydreigon! This is insane. Just gonna close combat again. Okay. All I need to do now is force him out. I don't care if you uh, protect, I don't care if you go into the Bowden. I feel like I got the necessary damage on you. But basically, I, I I would never let him allow him to wish. But he has Rocky Helmet on his Hydreigon, man. What the heck? They're gonna live, so in that sense. Okay. Go oh, Rodomir. So is Dragonite gonna die to the own sandstorm? But he put me into a position where I can click Hydro Pump. So uh, some crazy stuff, boys, some crazy stuff. But uh I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click it um 
either pump into volts, which should be enough to knock him out. Because the sandstorm basically keeps him low. Annoying burn, though. Annoying burn. Yeah, I'm, I'm never allowing him to click uh, wish. So Hydro Pump here is a guaranteed kill in case he switches, but he goes for the double protect. You're not getting it, bro. So we're gonna go Weevil. That's kind of crazy. It's Dragonite or Draco Meter Extreme Speed Ice Beam. I think he has superpower as well. He goes into this, I'm just gonna click Spear. Could be a 2 hit KO. Getting a crit. 1, 2, 3, 4. As he clicks Earthquake. Could never kill me. I did a lot, man. What the heck? Final. Knocking this out. And uh, staying in against Dragonite, because he's gonna die to his own life orb. I, I swear, man, my 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 Amoongus would have lived at Acrobatics because it was not stabbed. It wasn't stabbed, and he he had an item, so he didn't get the double boost. But it is what it is. We still win this game, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Some crazy stuff happened, but uh, we built through. We managed. <laughs> <laughs> we managed so i hope you enjoyed it if you did guys make sure to hit me up with one of these uh leave a comment down below if you have any questions and yeah join our discord server before the end of february i would like to hit 4,000 subscribers if we can it would be really awesome and yeah um i hope you have a wonderful day hope to see you in the next video and check out the team on patreon peace out